Hi everyone, this is the second in my series of Throwback Thursday videos where I go back in time, look at my favorites for um, a month way back when, and let you know where they've been, what they're doing, whether I still like them, if I don't, what I'm using instead, and uh, all that fun stuff. So in this video, we're gonna travel back to November of 2010, which was a lifetime ago, it feels like, in YouTube land. If you wanna see the original video, Click in the description box and there will be a link taking you right to it. Try not to crack up laughing. It was bittersweet for me to watch it um, because my beloved rookie is in the video and he was young still and alive and healthy and you know there are some added benefits of doing YouTube videos that I never thought of so I get to see rookie. Um, for those of you who are fairly new or don't know who I'm talking about, the my first Westie that my husband and I bought together um, Actually, we took him home from the breeder the day we came back from our honeymoon. Uh, his name was Rookie, and he passed away in April of 2012. And um, Wrigley is kind of his replacement, so that's that story. Anyway, now on to happier things. So I wrote down um, everything that I had listed in my favorites for November of 2010, and I'm gonna let you know where we stand. So the first thing that was mentioned is Smashbox Blush Rush in Flush, which I still have kind of forgot about it. It is actually, it's a beautiful color and I like it has a little mirror. I personally never understood, like I put on my makeup at home and I don't take it with me. If I bring anything along, it's a lipstick and maybe some powder, but I never bring eyeliner and eyeshadow to touch up. I don't know. Do you, do you guys do that? Like, just oh, let me know. Anyway, so this is, I remember I bought this because Makeup by Tiffany D loved it and it is a beautiful color. It's just a basic pink. It has a little sheen to it. It's a very wearable color. Where'd it go? It's over there. See that nice sheen? It actually reminds me, I don't own it yet. I'm waiting for the friends and family sale or VIB sale, whatever, at Sephora. But it reminds me a little bit of Rockateur. It has a little gleam to it. It has a little rose in it. It has a little gold. Anyway, I'm wearing it right now. I really like it and I dug it out of the, it was in my blush drawer, but I just haven't been reaching for it, and I'm reaching for it now. Elf Blush and Candid Coral was another mention. Looks like this. Had a lot of love back in the day. Looks like that. Has a little sheen. It's a little corally. Looked like that. Gotta tell ya. It's a nice pigmentation. Not reaching for it at all. Haven't touched this in probably two years. When I do want a little bit of coral, I have been reaching for the Milani Baked Powder Blush in Luminoso, which looks like that. I'm just digging it more. Um, it's softer. It goes on a little smoother. It's a little lighter. Um, that's Milani over there, and then that's the elf and um, blends a little easier and stays a little bit longer so um does this doesn't have an odor okay so i just for me personally i'm reaching for this more um it's not that the elf is bad i just found something i like better so it is there next favorite this cracks me up i don't know if this is the this was the first time i think it made it into the favorites this is the wet and wild brulee this is like my 18th one love this love it love it love it if they stop making it, I will cry a lot. Uh, I still have not found anything that comes close to the opacity and blendability of this for a dollar or two dollars or whatever it is. So I have four more backups of this. Love it. Oh, I don't think this was mentioned in the video, but I was wearing it in the video. So I kind of, I didn't completely recreate the look, but I am wearing a lot of what I wore in the video. And what I had on in the video was the um, CoverGirl Shimmering Sands Trio. Whoop! Which right here, I have it on today. Did it a little different than in the video. I went heavy with black eyeliner. What was I thinking? Not a, not a good look for me, but um, there it is, and it's still a favorite. And everyone, if you don't own this, you should. Okay, back to the um, list. Wet n Wild Lemon Edition Night Elf. I think I loved it, but I did a bad thing. I depotted my Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Didn't keep track of what went with what. So I can't remember what color goes with which trio, and then half of them broke, and so it's gone. It's kind of sad. Um, I think one of the reasons I bought it was to get Club, the dupe for Matt Club, which eventually came out, and I believe it was the Comfort Zone palette. I think that was the only reason I really bought that. Anyway, so um, I don't miss it. 
EOS lip balm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> In lemon drop. I still have this thing. It's almost done. Still smells like lemons. I know everybody on YouTube loves this stuff. I don't. Um, I loved it at the time. I still love the scent. I think I was just hooked on the scent, but I find it to be not very creamy after a while. And honestly, I have enough crap in my purse that I don't need this ginormous thing rolling around in it, which was why I initially liked it, that I could find it easily, but really, it's this is big. So then it moved to my bedside table, and now it has been handily replaced by the Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. This is still the one I got a year ago. I use this every night before bed. We're getting to the end of it, but I still have probably like six months to go. I mean, this stuff, oh, love. Again, it's a smell thing. So this has replaced my it in my bedside table and in my purse. It has been replaced by the Jack Black SPF 25 lip balm that I should have put out. I'll put a link to it. It smells like lemon. So I get the lemon scent that I love, but it actually works. So that's that. Hard Candy Lipstick and Fire Alarm and Perfect 10. They were two beautiful nudes that I purged when I cleaned up my lipstick drawer. I just found that I had other nudes that gave the same a similar color and lasted a little bit longer. But I will say that looking back, their finish does remind me quite a bit of the YSL Rouge uh, Volupte. So I'd still say good value for money, but there's just so many great nudes out there. I had to, I had to purge a little bit. Milani HD Advanced Concealer, Click Cover, Correct, and Protect. I don't have it to show you because I actually turned out to hate it. <laughs> and um, it's like a love-hate relationship. It's a roller coaster here on YouTube. And it has been handily replaced by the Maybelline Dream Lumi Pen. Awesome, awesome highlighter clicker pen. Like, love it. Love the um, price point and love the availability of it. So have not branched out to other more expensive options at this point. Just sticking with that. The next thing I had mentioned way back then was the Britney Spears Fantasy Eau de Parfum. I do still love it. In fact, I think now that the holiday season is coming, I'm gonna go out and see if a new set is out at Walgreens or something to grab. It's that, it falls into that same category that I just always go to, that sweet, kind of spicy, at the same time, if you like product candy, if you like flower bomb, they're all in that category. I love it. And I'm not ashamed to admit that I wear Britney Spears perfume from time to time. OPI Nail Envy. I have it on right now on this nail. It's an expensive little, where did I, you know what? I didn't even grab it. I'm so sorry. It just, it's, it's a clear bottle. Of, it looks like a clear bottle of nail polish from OPI. It says Nail Envy on it. And um, it was, I think, $17, which I thought was a lot of money for a I don't know, nail treatment, but it really does work when my nails have just had it, um, especially after, I, like, once I get the gel manicure off, I will wear just the Nail Envy for a few days and then start putting nail polish on. And then um, when I start doing regular nails, I'll do Nail Envy, then my base coat and color and so on. So I still recommend it. I love it. There's lots of great nail strengtheners out there, though. You don't have to go with Nail Envy, but I do like it. Um, Neutrogena makeup remover wipes I'd mentioned at the time. I think they were the night calming ones. Well, I still use them, but now I use the hydrating ones. I love these. I know some people don't. Again, I've never had any problems. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't make me itch. It doesn't turn me red. Um, I recommended these to my good friend Lee, and her skin just exploded. So now she's using Bioderma. But um, I can't get Bioderma easily, but this I can get. So I still really like these. This is not... I stress this is not a replacement for cleaning your face. This is the first step in cleaning your face. Just saying. And then the last thing that um, I had listed on here, which makes me laugh, is the Petty Scrub Foot Buffer. It looks like a daisy, and it's um, like a sponge on one side and kind of a rough callus remover on the other, and you're supposed to leave it in your shower and then, you know, scrub your heels with it. And I left it in my shower, and it works great. And I do need to, in fact... Looking back on this reminds me of stuff I need to pick up. And for those of you that are slightly newer to my channel, um, my husband saw it in the shower and used it to wash his face. A foot scrubber, a callus remover. He's like, this is great. It really just gets rid of the dead skin. I'm like, it takes, gets rid of all your skin. That is not for your face. But he loved it. He appropriated it for him. Of course, once I knew he was using it on his face, I stopped using it on my feet. Um, and I think that just so horrified me that I never got another one. So maybe we'll give it another go. And I will let him know not to use it on his face. 
So, um, that was my list from November 2010, and I'd love to know if there's some products on this list that you still use and love, or if back then you were watching me and actually got any of this stuff, and let me know if it worked for you. And I'm loving this Throwback Thursday idea. It's a once a month thing, and um, I hope you enjoy the series. It's really fun to look back at stuff. You know, it seems like every month we're telling you all this great stuff, and then you never hear about it again. And at least I always wonder when I watch people, where did it go? Do you still use it? Where did you sell it? Did you throw it out? Did you give it to your girlfriends? Like, are you a hoarder? What happened? So anyway, that's what's going on here. And um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.